Okay, I'm here live on the corner of Fountain and Vista, where the sweet smell of Orlando's bloom is still pungent in the air. On Sunday night, Orlando was here hitting parked cars. Okay, I lied. Just one. And it wasn't that one, but it was one in that spot. What's the latest on the story? Find out now on Celebrity Buzz Meter. Anderson Cooper filled in for Oscar the Grouch this week on his Sesame Street news segment. Now, our latest GNN news poll shows that some grouches think the letter G is a grouchy letter because it starts words like goo, goo, and garbage. Anderson, I think I know another word you might be familiar with that starts with G. G, 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 G. Spice Girls' new album will be sold exclusively in Victoria's Secret stores. Okay, like it wasn't scarring enough as a young male to buy the album out in public at a Walmart where any moment one of your junior high buddies could come around the corner and see you do it. Now, as an adult male, I have to go into a freaking lingerie store to buy it. What's next? I have to go get my Hillary Duff lip gloss from the girls section at Gap Kids? That doesn't make any sense. A new DUI law has come into effect in California that will allow sentences of up to 15 years to life for drivers involved in fatal accidents who are drunk or on drugs. You hear that, Paris? Nicole, Lindsay, Kiefer, Michelle Rodriguez, the guy who yells so loud on home makeover, UBE, Debbie from Black Eyed Peas, the Jessica Girl from Laguna Beach, Haley Joel Allman, Mel Gibson, Nick Carter, Winona Chad, Nick Nolte, Pinkalini. LA Fashion Week ended yesterday after a week of attempting to prove itself to be on par with such fashion capitals as New York, Paris, and Milan. Sure, we in LA may live with the daily threat of the earth opening up and swallowing us, but that in no way affects our fashion. This just in. David Copperfield is being investigated by the FBI. This just in. David Copperfield has disappeared. Lindsay Lohan was spotted drinking this week soon after leaving rehab in a Utah music bar named Hotel. I'm glad to see rehab was so successful for her that she can now drink socially. That's awesome, Linz. Stephen Colbert has thrown his snarky little hat into the ring for the presidential race. Yeah, it's all fun and games, people, until he's elected. Seriously, do you understand how possible this really is? Although I do hear his first order of presidential business will be returning little Iggy back to Ellen DeGeneres. Now that's a solid platform I can get behind. Britney Spears had her overnight visitation rights temporarily revoked. However, it looks like the fighting may end soon now that it's been explained to Britney that the hearings are about her two sons and not her favorite pair of cowboy boots that are incidentally also named Jaden James and Sean Preston. Huh? Huh, really? At number two, Ellen DeGeneres made a tearful plea to the Mutz and Moms Adoption Agency to return the dog she had given to her hairdresser's family. As it turns out, Ellen was supposed to have informed the agency, and as of this buzz meter, the dog's already been assigned to a new home. Now, at first, I was totally sympathetic with Ellen until I saw evidence of the hairdresser's treatment of this animal. Now, see, that's just cruel. And at number one, as I'm sure you know, Orlando Bloom was involved in an accident with a parked car this week. And it was reported yesterday that the accident is still under investigation by the LAPD as a possible hit and run due to him leaving the scene briefly. Earlier today, we were able to get an exclusive near interview with Orlando. Orlando. Orlando? Is that Orlando? Orlando Bloom. Orlando Bloom. He's coming too fast. He's coming too fast. <laughs> I didn't get him. <laughs> 